Hello and uh, welcome to week 18 of the 52 week challenge. Um, last week's um, results were fantastic, saw loads of great pictures being shared in the group and uh, this week is a mental challenge. So um, as I've been talking an awful lot about environment and how we can influence the environment around us uh, by the things that we listen to and the things that we read as we did uh, last uh, week before last, um, I want us to influence our environments even further. Now, all I want you to do this week is grab yourself a, a pen and paper and write down uh, positive, negative, indifferent. And I want you to um, go around each room in your house, just do one room a day, and make your way around every object in each room and write down uh, what's positive, what's negative, what's indifferent. And then try and find a way that anything that makes you feel really negative in your house, that you just try and find a way of... Uh, getting either throwing it away or popping it into a box and putting it into the loft but um, just really trying to control our environments and control our moods by having things around us that make us feel more positive and getting rid of anything that makes us feel negative. Quite often we don't um, go into real detail and fully understand the things around us that are really impacting our moods um, and we never really know what's wired um, negative feelings uh, to certain objects in our house, whether it's something from a past relationship that gives us a negative vibe or um, something that just really makes us miss someone. Um, they're all right to keep, but we don't necessarily need them to be on display to invoke those negative emotions every time that we're near them. Those negative emotions can quite often lead to negative feelings or comfort eating or behaviours that we don't necessarily want. So. Um, yeah, so that's just go around each room in your house and just label things positive, negative, indifferent, and then see what you can do to increase the positive and decrease the negative. Um, I really look forward to uh, sharing um, and reading about um, anything that you found in your house that, that you've moved and it's uh, lightened up your mood. Um, and um, I'll see you in the group next week.